Hi, this is Mark News from Plant Talk Radio. Thanks for subscribing and listening to our podcast, Your Gardening Questions from Plant Talk Radio. To help keep this podcast free, we're partnering with Stoke Seeds. Pre-plan your indoor seed starting program with the help of Stoke's 2017 Gardening Guide and their online articles. Whether you're adding texture through foliage, choosing a new variety for a splash of color, developing an existing garden, or starting from scratch, Stoke Seeds has some great catalog and online resources to help you through the process. Enjoy gardening tips and gardening trend forecasting from their garden writers and favorite chef. More than just a listing of vegetable and flower seeds, the Stoke Seeds website is a complete resource center with valuable information on seed starting, planting, harvesting, plus all the gardening accessories you need to make your garden the envy of the neighborhood. Get growing with Stokes. We'll have more to come from Stoke Seeds in the next few weeks. For now, today's gardening question. Uh, Skip sent us an email to fred at planttalkradio.com, and he says that uh, we have a bonsai pineapple palm. We purchased it in Florida back in October for our garden window. Now, it was doing well for the first month or so, and then it started to get some yellowing in the center of the leaves, and it just keeps getting worse, even after a tiny bit of fertilizer in the water. Any ideas? Yes, I do, and uh, I'm going to be as gentle as I can. Um, you're killing it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> now, Skip, what I'm what I'm heading toward is remember where palms grow: hot, dryish circumstances. You probably are treating it with too much kindness, especially to water. Uh, number one, be very certain that that container has a, a drainage hole and a, and a good size one in the bottom of the pot. Uh, You can then set it in another container or into a little uh, saucer that has gravel in it and so on so that you can keep some moisture in the air by water uh, in the gravel evaporating up through. But as to the watering of the plant, please do run it on the dry side. Now, uh, how to explain that? Uh, Where I would tell you to water a plant of other kinds when you touch the top of a knuckle to the soil and it feels dry, you'd water uh, or if you stick your finger in a half an inch and it's dry, you'd water. Uh, on a palm, you want the darn thing to be dry pretty much down toward the bottom, well, one or two inches. Now, if it's a bonsai, it may be only in one or two inches. But I'm, I'm going to guess, just on the basis of, of having some familiarity with them, that uh, one, you may not have enough light uh, because they are you know, a full, brilliant sun-type plant, uh, don't like shade at all. And then it's a plant that cannot tolerate too much water. And then one other thing to be careful of. They can uh, be a feast for spider mites. Now, I can't give you a good solution right off the top of my head because I, I can't remember what you can spray with. But one thing you could do, depending on the size of this, put your fingers over the soil, tip the pot or tray upside down just so that everything doesn't spill out and then wash the foliage of of the palm itself uh, under a strong stream of tepid water Uh, that'll knock some of the little bodies off and you might want to do that once a week because uh, spider mites breed faster than bunnies and you, you you would need to continue to clean this up in the meantime you could check with the garden center since my mind just went blank uh, to find out what you can use on spider mites on a palm-like plant. But the, the odds are you're treating it too kindly. Um, I, I know you didn't set out to kill it, so that was probably a poor start to my answer. But at the same time, uh, we can overdo a plant's needs. Uh, so be sure it's bright light as long as you can each day. Be sure that it is uh, staying at least damp but not more than moist. Now, you can, in a bonsai tray or otherwise, you can soak the plant, set it in the sink, and let the water quit bubbling, so to speak, or the pot. Uh, But don't do that more than once every several weeks or so. Um, Set it on gravel in a container that will keep the furniture safe, uh, etc. So I, I would tell you to probably back off of your intuition based on having handled other plants of the same nature because they they just love it on the dry side 
And what about the business of giving it a little fertilizer? Oh, I didn't think about that. I would not. Not at this point in time, uh, just as a general thing, be it pineapple or be it other bonsai or indoor plant. Uh, the light is at one of its lowest points. The humidity in our homes is exceptionally dry. The plant isn't going to grow well in the first place. So uh, I, I would say in this case, no fertilizer. You don't want to push the plant into growth when there is not enough light to keep it short. <laughs> I think I've given that lecture before, but light does stop the growth and length of the tissue uh, in the stems of plants and leaves, for that matter. So you you don't want to push them into growth right now. Late March would be the um, the first chance I would take at any kind of fertilizer. Then I I'm I'm very sparing. I do not have a, the palm that he has, but I have several other bone size. Uh, some are buried under leaves in at the side of the house uh, because they are outdoor plants. I have five or six, whichever, of indoor plants that I had to bring in before they froze or even got real cold. And those I run on the dry side during the winter time, and so on. So I have experience with everything except the fact of a palm, but I know people that have grown them, and I know one of the primary enemies is the human being. Secondary enemy is the spider mite. So uh, check and see, and uh, uh, good luck from there. Hi, this is Mark News from Plant Talk Radio. Thanks for subscribing and listening to our podcast, Your Gardening Questions from Plant Talk Radio. To help keep this podcast free, we're partnering with Stokes Seeds. Pre-plan your indoor seed starting program with the help of Stokes 2017 Gardening Guide and their online articles. Whether you're adding texture through foliage, choosing a new variety for a splash of color, developing an existing garden, or starting from scratch, Stokes Seeds has some great catalog and online resources to help you through the process. Enjoy gardening tips and gardening trend forecasting from their garden writers and favorite chef. More than just a listing of vegetable and flower seeds, the Stokes Seeds website is a complete resource center with valuable information on seed starting, planting, harvesting, plus all the gardening accessories you need to make your garden the envy of the neighborhood. Get growing with Stokes. We'll have more to come from Stokes Seeds in the next few weeks. For now, today's gardening question. Hey, thanks again for listening to the podcast. Remember, you can pre-plan your indoor seed starting program with the help of Stokes Gardening Guide and their online articles. For the best selection of vegetable, flower, and herb seeds available, go to stokesseeds.com. Cultivating successful growers for generations.